Next, I want to talk about a series of tags, and these are really sort of formatting, text formatting tags. So there's sort of two main ones we're going to go over, and then I'll talk about a third that you might see floating around out there. So the first one is for bolding text. Now, the way that you want to do that, so let's say we want to have this par word paragraph be bolded. We would use the the tag strong like this. And so this is to indicate some sort of uh, importance, but the way that it ultimately does that uh, inside of the browser is to make it bold like this. So we can see that that is bolded. So that's bolding text. Now, one thing that you might see is something like this, is the B like this. And you'll notice the effect is the same, but sort of in modern web design and web development, we've moved away from using just the B tag like this and using this strong element like that. So if you wanna bold something, use the strong tag. Another one uh, that you'll see that you might wanna use is the, uh, it's called the emphasis tag, so it's EM. And EM essentially makes the, the text italic. So if we, we refresh this, you'll see we get a sal italicized text. Now, just like with bolding, we, we have a, a sort of an old school counterpart. So something you might see out there is something like this, which is I for italic text. And again, you'll see that the effect is the same, but we have, again, in modern web design development moved to emphasis or em like this it's really just about being semantic instead of talking about you know, what the the text effect is we're talking more giving it uh sort of actual more meaning than that again we don't have to sort of get into all of that right now but uh, again these are things that you're going to see out there if you want to bold text if you want to uh, italicize text you can use strong and m another one that you might see out there let me go ahead and copy this Another one that you might see out there is this one, it's U. And what this will do, and I, I actually sort of wonder if it'll still do it because we've moved away from this, but it does. So this is underline text. And this is something that you will see out there, uh, you may see out there, but really highly recommended not to use. Instead, what you would do is something like uh, this, now this seems a little bit uh, cumbersome to do this in line like this, but if you imagine instead of doing it in a span like this and you, you want something to be underlined, you know, for example, inside of Bootstrap, you know, you could, you could add a, a tag, just a simple tag to with a class on it that would uh, add the underline to it. But it's, re it's recommended to do it this way uh, at this point, to actually use CSS to do underlining instead of, of tags like this. So, but again, like I said, you may see that U tag uh, out there floating around. That's what it is. Um, so, so you sort of know what that is. So those are some of the basic, probably the most common, um, most common formatting tags that you'll see out there. You do have some other ones. So for example, you have uh, something like this, small. So this will actually create text that is smaller than what sort of the default uh, paragraph text is. Uh, so you can see that that is a little bit smaller. Uh, you will see, uh, you might see something like sub. And so this is gonna be a subscript. And of course it has its counterpart which is superscript. So do this. And so you can use these out there as well. Again, a lot of this stuff is not gonna be super, super common, um, but these are some of the different tags that, that you might uh, find out there. So again, those are some basic formatting tags that you can use. 